Let me tell you about the proto culture. If you don't know the culture, here's the whole structure. We had enough of the lackluster. Trust us, we get the kind of games you can't win in Blockbuster. What up, Dick Punchers? Here's another proto culture. This time we're playing the Transformers Mystery of Convoy, a classic NES shitstorm. You may have seen this on uh, AVGN, where he got all kinds of pissed off, but when doesn't he? Uh, I'm Judge Drunk. I'm Pliskin. Taxi. I'm Willard. <laughs> and that's Bob. Bob, he just came back from a uh, convention trip, so he's a little exhausted. <laughs> a, su a super successful, apparently, convention trip, so, was, where he had all of the fun. I mean, it's like he masturbated to cosplayers in a pool. <laughs> anyway, Wait, so, so was he in the pool or were the cosplayers? Both. Did he masturbate in a pool to cosplayers? Age or was he masturbating to cosplayers who were in no, a pool? No, he was not masturbating AIDS into the pool so it could be closed. <laughs> now you're implying <laughs> that Bob has AIDS if he can masturbate AIDS. He needs all the help he can get. Of course he has AIDS. <laughs> How did he get AIDS? He pays them. He paid them. He hired AIDS for himself. You know, I yeah. wish this game were we, we right? may not be talking about the same kind of AIDS. Okay, we're moving on to the game. Hey, Transformers. Okay, so... Here, I know Transformers stuff. By the way, did anyone see the new Transformer Megatron Hallmark ornament that just came out? No. No. It's kind of awesome. I, uh, okay. <laughs> so here's the deal. So, uh... I'm going to be playing the game because I've been playing it now for a little bit. And, uh... I don't know. I've already... There's only two people in our group that's ever beaten this game from beginning to end, and we've done it with save states, which we will definitely be doing. Oh, yeah. You, you don't play this game without save states. So, I, I'm going to try not save stating the first level, because I've almost mastered it, and, uh... That we'll, means we'll you're going to fuck up the whole problem. Yeah, it is. You're going to need to reload. So... But, but we're, we're going to save state it, and uh, we're going to get through this. We're going to see how fast we can get through it. Uh, I'm going to have to bring up a walkthrough for level 9, because level 9 is the infamous maze stage. Uh, <laughs> are we uh, how many get levels far? are there? Yeah. Uh, 11. So, what's some background on this game? Uh, so, this game is uh, Mystery of Convoy. 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 It was made in 1986. No Talent Translations proudly presents <laughs> this game. And the Mystery of Convoy is uh, is twofold. Firstly, it's why you're not playing as Convoy. And secondly, it's why the fuck did they spell it with an M? It's Convoy. Now, is this a Japanese-only release? Yes. Yeah, never this came never out came in the, came the, to States. the States. This is a translated... Uh, Post-movie. This is a, a post-86 movie game. Well, of course, it took her in 1986. But yeah, so that's why... Right. That's why you're playing as Ultra Magnus. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna start this game while you guys keep talking. So uh, yeah, warning, warning, warning. I'm Caesar, Caesar, Caesar. Ah, Porygon, no. So this is a Japanese only release. All right, I'm actually gonna save it right here, guys, because I don't want people freaking seizing up. So I'm gonna avoid <laughs> that screen as best as I can. I'm seizing. I'm seizing. Taxi. <laughs> well, if, if we're skipping this part, I guess we don't need to talk. No, 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 no. Okay, here we go. So, this was a job. So you Did you just... D I, I was just making sure the controls work. So By exploding. Yeah. So, this is, does it follow the premise after the first movie? Uh, the premise well, of this movie. game is you're Ultra Magnus, and you don't know why. <laughs> really? Blood? No. Transformers don't bleed. Yes, they do. I've seen the movies. They pee antifreeze. They also pee. They bleed and they pee. And they have balls. Big, clanky robo scrotums. Hey, if I thought you were going to try to do this oh, first level without CGI. CGI yeah, well, you guys chicken me out. <laughs> uh, the most recent CGI series? Prime. Oh, the, the current series is technically CGI too. Uh, Transformers Ooh. Robots in Disguise. Uh, not to be confused with the previous Japanese uh, localization, Transformers Robots in Disguise. The, the shows get confusing. I like Prime. Prime was really good. I like VR. I like the idea of a female Transformer. Because, you know, the males had to get it on somehow. But <laughs> this proves they weren't all just having gay butt sex. Activate Robo Penis into Robo Vagina. I don't know who you mean by VR. The girl, whatever her name was. RC. RC, yes, thank you. <laughs> Wrong letters. VR, the the troopers? No, RC, thank you. <laughs> it's been a while. 
I liked her. She was kind of a cool character. She was. Uh, in in Prime, she was really cool. Yeah, it was dumb. Short jumps. So what is the new Transformers series like? The current one? Yeah. It, uh, technically is a continuation of Prime. And, uh, much uh, like the, uh, sure. the way they've changed the Fucking toy line. Monsters. Due to complaints from parents that, like, oh, it's, my kids can't deal with this crap. Yeah, they complained the same kind of thing with the Prime TV series. That, uh, oh, it's too dark and my kids are afraid of the Transformers show now. So they've made it kind of jokey and more kid-friendly. Oh, that sounds bad. It's not, I mean, it's not the worst. It's not the worst Transformers series. It's better than fucking Armada. But, uh, it's not the best. Well, don't they have a specific Transformers series aimed at, like, kids? Oh, shit. Okay, we got through the first stage without any of us paying any attention. Yay, Pliskin. Yeah. <laughs> you did your thing. No, is going to give him a hand job. No? No. Yeah. That's later. The hand job start later when I go home. We're not correcting who's kids. giving him a what. We're correcting when. <laughs> okay. <laughs> also, check that out. Ah, gave me the system. <laughs> Figured that out. Transform into a into a vehicle that requires oxygen in outer space. No. No. He transformed into a vehicle that doesn't require oxygen in outer space. Because otherwise it wouldn't have worked. Anyways. Oh, buttons. Sticky buttons. Uh, you were asking though about oh, like wasn't there a very specifically child oriented Transformers series. Yes, I remember seeing it a couple times. Rescue Bots. Rescue Bots, thank Which you. Which actually wasn't bad. I mean, for what it was, it was a fun show. It was a fun little show. It had a really fun art style. Uh, the concept was neat. It, they never fought Decepticons. They never shot any guns. It was all about, like, teamwork and rescue operations and stuff. But if you want to look at it, it was shown aimed for, like, preschoolers. Yeah, it was a good show. I mean, it wasn't amazing or anything. It didn't have a, a deep plot. Didn't have a whole lot of lore going on. But it was good. Uh, Steve Bloom was in it. Voiced, uh... Fuck. What was his name? Hotspot. Hotspot? You know, Heatwave. Heatwave. I like the I like the concept. I like the fact that they were saying, Hey, we have multiple audiences. Here's Prime if you're an adult. Or, or you want that more mature program. Yeah. Well, here's Prime if you're, like... 10 to 13, which, like, no, all the little kids were watching Prime 2, I guess, because it's Transformers and parents don't pay attention. I thought Prime was a damn good show. It The first season didn't grab me until the very end, and then everything after that was amazing. I, I, I thought the concept was interesting with the kids. I know some fans find it annoying, but... Uh, it didn't get in the way. There have been worse kids. Fucking headmasters. Daniel in fucking headmasters. Daniel and goddamn Wheelie in fucking oh. headmasters. Is it a show about mastering giving head? Uh, yes. That is exactly what it is about. Again, I'm just safe stating, and I'm not talking much because I'm the one playing it. This is... This is not even about playing the game anymore. <laughs> Willard and I are just having a conversation about Transformers TV shows. So, it's like, we could be commenting on what's going on on screen. We, we haven't is mentioned... Is that a mini game or is that a boss fight? This it's is a, a boss, boss fight. fight. We haven't what? mentioned the Space Lobsters yet. So, your boss fight is you in outer space fighting what look like... A pair of Unicrons. Yeah. Or perhaps Death Stars... I was thinking, so so is every boss, do you get more Unicrons? No. No, eventually you'll fight a Decepticon head and stuff like that. A Decepticon symbol. Symbol. A flying Decepticon symbol. And now we're in a level from Mario uh, 3. I like Mario 3. You might think that's Ratbat, but you'd be wrong. Even though you killed it and it turned into a cassette tape, you're still wrong. Who is it? It's nothing. Nothing in this game is anything. 
Is this game continuity? No. Is this G1 cannon? It's G1. And we could fire it out of a cannon. <laughs> so, Judge Strike, you were talking about Headmasters. Oh, yeah. Maybe you could explain to some of our audience that aren't familiar with the crazy Japanese and American cannons. <laughs> explain G1. Headmasters. All right, well, uh, so, so we had seasons one and two, and then we had the movie. And in America, season one, season two, movie, season three, and then season four was like three episodes, I think. It was the, I don't remember what the title was, but it was, you know, where we got the target masters and the headmasters and shit. Uh, in Japan, we got season one, and then they got the movie, and then they got season two, <laughs> and everyone was like, what? No, 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 excuse me. No, they got season one, season two, season three. And then they got the movie. And then they, like, no one in Japan had any idea where oh, any of these sure. characters in season yeah. three came from. Because they hadn't seen the movie yet. Or the death of Optimus Prime. Right. They didn't know why Optimus Prime wasn't there. They didn't know why he was coming back from the dead. And, uh, and then after season, after the movie and season three, they skipped our season four... Wasn't there a recap season that we got that was a combination of, like, short 10-minute episodes? Um, or am I thinking of something I else? I think you're thinking of something else. Okay. Uh, you might be thinking of the G2 series, which no. was... It, it was in that weird space cube thing where they did all their scene transitions with weird CG... Now like, there's three. ...journeying through this cube, but it was just uh, rebroadcasts of the original G1 episodes. Okay. That's, yeah. that's... that's probably what you're thinking of. But anyway, so... Japan skipped our season four, went into a, a show that only aired in Japan called Headmasters. What? Hey, it's that giant Decepticon head. It's that one guy from the Decepticon Justice Division. You know I don't know any of their names. It's from the IDW comics that are running right now. By uh, the way, everyone whatever. should buy everything IDW does. Probably. <laughs> Didn't they do a, a Ghostbusters Transformers crossover? They did a Ghostbusters or, Transformers Teenage Mutant Turtles crossover. That's right, because it was all the zombie stuff. Yeah. They did a big zombie event that was Transformers, Ghostbusters, Ninja Turtles, all of them fighting zombies. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, seizure yeah. warning again. Hey, look, Which... we're already on stage four. We're almost halfway through the game already. Holy shits. So, yes, you're George... seeing someone live beat Transformers. So, so Judge Strunk, you were telling us about the difference between what right, right. Headmasters is. Uh, so, Headmasters. Headmasters picks up where Season 3 leaves off and, uh, and completely redoes the entire concepts of the the headmasters and the target masters and so on. Is it good? It's anime. <laughs> so explain to people how they can get this in the ah, Dead. I oh, uh, Shout Factory. Shout Factory licensed the Japanese trilogy, uh, which the Japanese trilogy would be Headmasters, Super God, Master Force, and Victory. The the three full TV series that uh, came after oh, season three in Japan and only aired in Japan. Sadly, we haven't gotten Zone yet. Zone was supposed to be the fourth Japanese TV series, got canceled before it aired, and they released the first episode, the pilot, as uh, an OVA, and we haven't gotten that officially over here yet. I don't know why. They should have put that as an extra on... One is on, like, Victory or some so shit. So how are the Shop Factory releases? They're... Decent? The, uh, the translations are fucking lazy. No, no, The translations still... and the subtitles and the timing on the subtitles, super fucking lazy. But it's the only way to get it legitimately. So, I mean, you do what you can, man. If, if you want it, that's what you get. Here's the question. I heard rumors that they were dubbed in English terribly by some... In, in Europe. In Europe, they got English dubs, and from what I've... I, I haven't heard the dubs, but from what I've heard about the dubs, they're horrifying. You know what? Disco Tech should have licensed it, because they would have got the horrific dubs. They super would have. <laughs> I wish they would have. Uh, but Shout Factory's doing, like, all the Transformers stuff nope. at this point, yeah, so... But happen. you know what? Gotta love Shout Factory, because they will release all your 80s cartoons. Oh, yeah. And they release all those B-movie box sets that I love, so... <laughs> Shout Factory's great. I mean, quality of their, their subtitled releases, when they started doing it, wasn't great. Uh, I think I think the uh, Japanese...
trilogy, the Transformers Japanese trilogy, might have been their first Japanese language release, I think. Unless it was Ultra Seven. No! Oh, oh, that was dumb. Right Why do you suck so bad? Right in the pit. I, I, I suck at video games. You went from the pinnacle to the so, pit. So, kind of do. It was a long way down. So, we get season four, which is like... I should know, I can't episodes, do that. And they get four com they get three complete series that follow. Three complete series and an OVA. Wow, you <laughs> suck screwed. That was dumb of me. <laughs> but at the same time... Um, Headmasters is not great. It's it's fun enough, but like don't expect to marathon it. You will kill yourself. Ah, that was oh, good they timing. They reported suicides from American fanboys. <laughs> well, I'm not dead yet, so no. Uh, but anyways, yeah. By by the time they got to victory, it was full on super robots. Remember, people playing the Judge Drunk betting game. He is still alive. I mark, am. Mark your scorecard appropriately. <laughs> oh, it flew right up your butthole. <laughs> Most enemies will. <laughs> oh. So, everybody, so this is our brief history of what Transformers. Oh, oh, shit. Oh, shit. Um. Oh, I know the name of this this chip. Uh, but is it the Nemesis? Fuck. It's the, it's the one that uh, Megatron was flying in the original pilot three-parter. The Autobots were in the Ark, and the Decepticons, I want to say it's called the Nemesis. And it's what crash lands in the ocean, and it's why they have that ocean penis that they come out of in all of Season 1. Did you say ocean penis? Ocean penis. Ocean penis. Ah! The, the big metal pylon comes out and, and oh! ejaculates Decepticons big, all over the ocean. Is that what happens pylon. when you ejaculate Judge Drunks? The big pylon. No, I face. ejaculate Decepticons. I don't ejaculate Judge Drunks. I am just drunk. How would I ejaculate more of me? Wait, no, I guess that is what I should do. I mean, DNA and stuff. Yeah, but if you have the something. But it's not what I do. You could if you, if you had additional pylons. I come robots. If you... Uh, that come would on. be painful. If I had additional pylons. Was it transformed? I only have the one pylon. <laughs> I fit that in there. <laughs> so I kind of shoved it my in. My transformer's not transforming. Well, because... Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that would be the most useless mode right now. <laughs> Change into a truck. Fight the spaceship on floaty platforms. A fighter Because jet. fuck you, do it. Were there any Autobots that were fighting? <laughs> <laughs> that same bullet has killed you like 13 times now. Stop it. I think that bullet out of <laughs> you, you, you just headshot it yourself. I know. Again, this game, this game is, is not easy. It's the easiest. What are you talking about? Oh! <laughs> I jump right into it. I gotta get the better timing. Well, I'll just play it until it's over. So much death. Oh, God. So, uh, other fun Transformer stuff. I recently acquired one of my Holy Grails. Did you buy the, um, all that, that, what did you pick did, up? Did you seriously buy, did you get it cheap? Mm -hmm. What is this Was Holy it the one Grail? that you kept looking at at work? Oh what no, not it? that. No, ah. no. I, it, I, I did not get the uh, the fans project Glacier Lord. No. <laughs> as much as that? I want one, uh, it no. That one's not going cheap enough right now. Did the price jump up on the one that you were watching? Yes. How much? By a lot. Oh, uh, no. The, what I what I managed to pick up was I got the Action Master Thundercrack. <coughs> the Action Master line being the non transformable. Three and a quarter, three and three quarters. The GI Joe sized non transformable oh, Transformers. Thing? Yes. Uh, only released in Europe. How much did you pay for it? Total about a hundred and twenty. That's not bad. Which four? I mean, that's about half. I, I, I had to buy them two pieces. <laughs> I I found the accessories in one set, and I found the figure in another so set. So total was a hundred and twenty. About 120, something like that. I'd have to double check it or something like that. <laughs> that was dumb. Uh, which is something like half what it normally goes for. I was shocked I got it that cheap. But yeah, I've got a complete Action Master European exclusive Thundercracker in all of his eye bleeding colors oh. purple, magenta, lime green. green. Yeah. Do you physically have it in your position? It is sitting on my shelf right now. But yeah, his colors purple, magenta, lime green. Baby blue and gold. It's horrifying the color scheme this thing is in. What's it from? 
Got it. It's uh oh early nineties. I want to say early so, so this 90s. this thing's actually like 25 years old. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It, this is vintage. So this is an a Wow. This is an original. Oh, they never... They they have almost never uh, reproduced any of the Action Masters. Because no one wants Action Masters. They're Obviously. the Transformers that don't transform. Obviously, you... What character? Oh, what the... Thundercracker. Yeah. Uh, one Thunder of the two characters that I specifically collect. I, I buy every Thundercracker I can find... And I buy every sound wave I can find. That was Thundercracker. What's his backstory? I'm not familiar with him. Uh, Thundercracker is one of the seekers. He's one of the repaints of Starscream. He's the one that's related to Thunder Tits. Okay. <laughs> so he's actually Starscream, but a repaint. Yeah. It's it's the same... I mean, the Action Master. Yes, we did get a, an Action Master Starscream over here. So the little... The figure, and not the accessories, is the same toy, but just in different colors. And it's... Is He's the typically the silver and blue one. In the, in the shows or oh, that thing's spitting out those balls of doom. Line. Oh no, he's, he's a character in the shows and everything. I like how we have talked to, like, for two seconds about the game. Yeah. Look at all the balls. Have you seen... This reminds us. This reminds me of our Ghostbusters one. <laughs> so, okay, so you're clearly on Cybertron and that's Kaon there, right? You're, it's the sure. Decepticon City of Kaon. I don't fucking... I don't read the comics. 